Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. You what I did. Not that part. Say the Lord part. What I said earlier. Amen. You know, it's time for word. Amen. And, and what I was going to do was, I was going to change everything around. See, because um, if you come to church here, you'll see on the bottom of your bulletin, things are subject to be changed by pastor. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. All right. All right. And I, and uh -huh. see, what had told to happen when the preaching church or the pastor who's preaching come up and his church is singing, yes, he walks up into the message, Amen. all right? Because the spirit is happening. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's what I need you. Amen. See. You ain't got to hear me say nothing. Mm -hmm. the, the preacher that's preaching, right. when the choir is singing, mm -hmm. he is lifted up by their singing and yeah. walking yeah. to his message. Amen. Yes. So I don't like to interfere with the preacher. See, what I just did was cut off his spirit. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Huh? Listen to him. I cut it off. And so, in his message of preaching, after this choir of singing, I'm going to straighten out the lion. <laughs> when he come. Yeah. When he come. Now, if he ride that spirit, that spirit, that's right. All right. He can go into every knee shall bow and every tongue shall bow. He's the Lord and the Lord is God. That's, that's right. right. And, 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 excuse me, and, and preach on from there. That's all right. That's all right. See, that's why when we have service, we get everything out of the way. When I come in, I'm coming in on a high note. note. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yes. That's right. See, we as preachers and ministers, we can drown a sermon out if we if we really want to. Amen. So that's why I say we change all this. All right. Okay. So on the next time in our fellowship come together, we'll we'll get together to put it the right way so it's supposed to be. Amen. Because see, when he comes up. He comes up with the spirit, right? I don't know what he got now since we done, I done killed him. <laughs> what he got now? So, so, and, and, if he ain't no, and if he ain't no singing preacher, see, like, like Brother Nate, uh -huh, yeah. see, if he didn't sing a preacher like Brother Nate, he couldn't bring it back up. He just had to preach his way back up. <laughs> I said, preach up in here. Do you understand where I'm coming from? I did. I know what I'm saying. Come on, I and see, I want, I want the ministers to have words too, but meanwhile, I want him to come and so. So if you done cooled off, <laughs> you better stir it and give up in you and get it back to <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Brother> him. <laughs> yeah, but you know, for some, you don't need no stirring up. If you can't stir it up. All right, Amen. say that. Wait a minute. Wait, Amen. Wait a minute. All right. All right. Nobody in the house. Amen. If you right. come stir it up, you don't need nobody to stir you. All right. All right. Say that. But just in case. Amen. 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 Just in case. Because they did talk about God going to straighten out right. some lies. That's right. And it kind of goes into the message that the Lord has given me. Amen. Before we get there. There are some things All right. I may not know. That's right. There are some places I can't go. But there's one thing that I am sure that God is real.
University. We thank you, Lord, for this time, this moment, in this day, in this hour, in this year. Because, Lord, you have provided an opportunity that I may, again, break forth the word. But, Lord, I know that I have to listen to you. That, Lord, what is given is given coming from you. And that, Lord, it will do, by your word, as the song said, straighten out. So let me increase as you increase, Lord. Let this word, Lord, go forth and do what you intended for it to do, that it may not come back void. That's right. This is our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 First, giving honor to, to God. Amen. To my pastor, I have to acknowledge mm -hmm. Pastor Fraser Ward. That's, that's right. That's right. You know, I, I say this everywhere I go, and I will continue to say it. Because when we got over there, he made sure that we were equipped. Amen. To remain and do what God had called him to do. Amen. So all we are is a helper. That's yeah. right. All, right. all I can do is what Joshua did to right. Moses. That's all right. right. Amen. And, 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 and I'll always ask him if he wants to pray or if he wants to pray, yeah. whatever. But if he, if he says, you go ahead, that means i got to lift up some other. That's right. All right. And that's all I can do. So I thank the Lord for putting on his heart to bring us to come and support him. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. To my good friend. Oh my goodness. I call him Pastor. Yes. I'm talking with nobody. Yes. Right. Pastor Matthew. Amen. Amen. Great man of God. Amen. Man who has right. accomplished much, but has the humility of God in his heart. Amen. To Amen. Pastor Carpenter. Amen. To Elder Hunter. That's right. That's quite a guy over there. Y'all got something special. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. To the deacons and to you, my members and friends in Christ. Say something. Say something. If you would turn your Bibles to John, the 17th chapter. All right. And uh, we are going to come from the 17th through the 22nd verse. Amen. John. The 17th chapter. And the verses are 17 through 22. Amen. And when you have it, amen. say amen. 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 Well, I guess there's somebody here. I'm going anyway. When you have it, say amen. Amen. them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, so has I, so has, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sake I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither I pray for these alone, That's right. but for them also which shall believe on me through their words, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us. Amen. Amen. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Yeah. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be, here we go again, one, even as we are one. Yeah. Now I want you, you may be seated, I want you to think with me for just a moment, unraveling the ball of confusion in Christian right. Unraveling the ball of confusion in Christendom today. Well, our subject this afternoon is from an impassioned prayer by Jesus. This, this, this prayer was presented because from here, Jesus would face the purpose of his life on earth. What, what he was about to endure would leave him feeling completely isolated. It would be unbelievably hurtful. It would be very uncomfortable. 
And it would be extremely painful. All right. Jesus, knowing this, engaged in prayer because what he would experience could cause those who followed him with some tremendously challenging issues. Yeah. It could cause them some extremely painful experiences. Okay. Mm -hmm. It could cause them both hurt and heavy hearts and at times cause them to be confused with what to share. Yes. Yes. Where their focus should remain and where to sustain the eyes and the hearts of those they would encounter who should be following Christ. All right. Lord, Lord, today, today there is a tremendous amount of differing presentations of the life and walk of a Christian. All right. That's all right. There are differing opinions, thoughts, and discussions on the Word of God. All right. And these are primarily based on Bibles and where their origin came from and what manuscripts were used to translate them. Yes. There, there, there are many differing commentaries expressing thoughts that often are at odds with each other. Uh -huh. There are many differing methods presented to illustrate uh -huh. proper praise and worship. All right. And there are many thoughts on what is needed to enter heaven. All right. All right. All, right. All these challenges have created a ball of confusion. Within Christendom today. Yes. With the sheep not knowing which way to turn or where to go to get the true intention of God's will. All right. All right. According to his word. Yes. I, 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 I'm, I'm reminded of a secular song that can speak to the state of Christendom today. Temptation did a long time ago. Yes. It said it's the play of the ball. Well, confusion. Yeah, amen. That's what the world is today. Yes, it is. Hey, hey. Go ahead. Oh, I wish I had a word. <laughs> the first request in our scripture text today yeah. reveals Jesus' desire that these followers first be sanctified All right. through his truth. Yeah. All right. This word, sanctify, yes. means to purify, uh -huh. to make clean. That's right. To be influenced by the Holy Spirit Say that. Yeah. in the heart to the truth of the word of the Lord rather than being influenced uh -huh. by and catering to the will of a popular movement All right. All right. and the desires of the world. Uh -huh. he, he wanted their unity of faith in Christ and in their knowledge to be united towards Christ. For there is one faith which all truly experienced servants of the Lord should agree on. My Lord, my Lord. All should be converted by the same Spirit. All right, all right. And that comes by way of the Holy Spirit. Right. And these servants of the Lord have the same work of mercy and grace working in each and every one. All right. All right. All right. And <laughs> And although we do not all have the same degree of light mm -hmm. and the measure of spiritual knowledge, well, as we follow Christ, we should still agree uh -huh. on the main point, and that is the gospel. Yes. All right. well, Salvation alone yes, yes. by the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. All right. Often, often, much too often today, Many pulpit presentations eliminate the gospel, yeah. Yeah. which is clearly presented in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 through 5. Right. And I'm going to read it for you, because we need to know what the gospel is. Everybody run around talking about gospel, this gospel, that. Here's the gospel. Yep. My Lord, my Lord. It says, Moreover, brethren, mm -hmm. I declare unto you yep. the gospel which I preach unto you, yes. which also ye have received, and wherein you stand. Yes. Uh -huh. By which also ye are saved, yes. okay. if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, uh -huh. unless you believed in vain. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I received, uh -huh. how that Christ died yes. 
That's right. For our sins. That's right. According to the scripture. Yes. And he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day. Third day. According to the scripture. That's right. That's right. With, 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 with so many denominations within denominations. Well, yeah. With so many what I consider religious beliefs in other faiths saturating society today. Yeah. And with the push towards inclusiveness in an attempt to cater to that insatiable desire and will of the flesh. The desired unity of which Christ prayed for is not as transparent as Christ would have, would have desired. Uh, okay. no. His, his desire that those presenting him would sanctify themselves, remain clean and pure through him by the word of God. All right. And their unity in genuine faith in big name preacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, in Christ. Come on. Are you with me? Yeah. However, mankind has imploded the desires of the oneness. All right. Satisfied with theological disagreements. Uh -huh. Content, content with escalated sub subliminal presentations. And All this right. word subliminal is a meaning, the meaning of that pre this presentation is given to create a sensation or a perception of what would rather be heard. They will create a atmosphere of and telling you something and giving you specific scriptures just to lead you into something, just to excite you. All right. uh, it's all called right. a subliminal okay. message. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, I wish I had one. Some, some, something, everybody want to hear something positive. Everybody want to hear something motivated. <laughs> something earthly that will comfort the desires of my flesh. All right, come on. And have yielded to manipulating. These have yielded to manipulating the sheep rather than Christ's desire that they feed you. Oh, are you going to pray with me for a little while longer? As, as, as those that are called by the Lord, engage the challenges before them. They must remain conscious of the prayer of Christ. That's right. He said that I send them into the world. All right. Just as he was sent into the world. So he sends his servants. That's right. They, they are not sent into the world to massage emotions. That's right. That's right. They are not he's getting sent into the world to stimulate hope of earthly confusion. And the sheep that should be fed end up wandering from feeding ground to feeding ground, all the while being entertained with what is called now dynamic praise services Amen. presented to them. <laughs> As the song, the temptations noted, we, yes, sir, we have people going out and people going in. Uh -huh. Why? Because of the confusion in religion. That's right. Run, run, run. But you sure can't hide. All right. All right. All right. Ah, you have a worldly mentality in Christendom that accepts an eye for an eye yeah. and a tooth two for a tooth. Two. Right. You got politicians visiting the worship service proclaiming both for me yeah. and I set you free. All right. In his prayer, of yes. Christ. No, it was the the oneness he prayed for would reflect the oneness he enjoyed with his father. Mm -hmm. In his prayer, he stated that they may be one, yes, as thou, Father, yes. art in me, yes, and I in yes. thee, yes. that they also may be one in oh. us. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Now, that the world may believe. Uh -huh. That thou hast sent me. Uh -huh. Does the world act like they believe that Christ is sent? No. Yes. Come on up. Come on up. Theological debates, yeah. subliminal messages, yes. political patronage, mm -hmm. and dynamic entertainment do nothing to convince a dying world that Christ was sent to this world for redemption. That's right. Yes. Neither will it open the eyes and hearts of a secular world mm -hmm. that is that that without believing Christ, that they are at risk of eternal separation from God. Yeah. Well, all right. This can be seen 
by the actions of living loved ones that will have life celebrations for those whose spirits have left the body. Yes. And they do so by sending balloons mm -hmm. towards the sky, mm -hmm. not knowing with the surety that they are aware of the path they have. All right. Yeah. The word in which Christ prayed for would purify or sanctify them, and it would be in complete agreement with what he proclaimed mm -hmm. in John 14 and 6. Yes. That says Jesus said unto him, mm -hmm. uh -huh. I am the way, yeah. Yeah. the truth, yeah. and the life. Yeah. No man cometh unto the Father. Yes. Oh, good God Almighty. But by me. Yeah. Believing that God has sent him yeah. is incorporated in Paul's letter in Romans 10, 8 and 9. It says, but what saith it? Yeah. Uh -huh. The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Listen here, that if thou would confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart, here we go, that God has raised him from the dead. Disagreements will not accomplish this. No, no, no. All right, all right. Highly recognized religious figure, figures that proclaim good works, good works lead to heaven, yes. will also miss the mark. Mm -hmm. As the song continued, church segregation, self determination, on, churches up. presenting secular demonstrations, religious integrations, congregation aggravation, yes. church leadership at odds with each other, and, and with a heart. They want to cause others humiliation. Okay. And leaders placing on the hearts their obligation to their religious nation. Uh -huh. All of this leads to that ball of confusion. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Christendom is today. Yeah. Hey, hey. All right. I I have Seeking relief from this confusion has caused the sales of the, the sale of pills pills to reach an all-time high. All right. Uh, it has the reaction of, of, of uh, discipline or the restriction of discipline yeah. has caused young folks to walk around with their heads in the sky. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we see many homes and cities filled with violence and in flames in the summertime. That's right. But all confusion raised on. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. We still have air pollution. Oh, yeah. We still see tax revolution. Yeah. And there is a movement for gun control. And new entertainment can be called Sound of Gospel Soul. <laughs> They're shooting satellites to the moon. Yeah. And we certainly see kids growing up too soon. And all the confusion in Christendom reigns. So round and round and round Christendom goes. And where the soul is headed, nobody knows. It's just a ball of confusion. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's what Christendom is yeah. today. Oh, I wish I had love the Lord. Uh, this prayer, this prayer that Jesus prayed was intended to encourage togetherness. Yeah. It was intended to strengthen. Mm -hmm. It was intended to prepare those that serve him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the will of the, his Father all right. for all of these challenges. He intended it to unravel the confusion. Yeah. He knew we would encounter it. Mm -hmm. And shortly after the prayer, mm -hmm. he set out to finish the work he set out to do. All right, all right. Amen. Along the way, he stopped in the garden called Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. His own flesh mm -hmm. entangled in confusion. Yes, it was. While wondering if possibly an alternate pathway could be laid. All right. But his oneness with his father, yeah. led him to the conclusion, not my will, not my will. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As he was led to be judged and have false allegations lodged against him, those that followed him became lost and confused. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they left him. And what do you deny? My Lord, my Lord. But he was neither deterred yes, 
nor confused. All right. And he opened up his mouth. Those that stood in the crowd when he was presented beside a murderer right. and a thief right. became confused rather than select this good man that had done no wrong. All right. They instead sided with the murderer and the thief. All right. While in pain from a brutal beating and rejection from those he had demonstrated so much love and compassion to, he carried a piece of wood up a hill called Golgotha. Then he, while hanging, hanging on that piece of wood, he was received. He, he revealed that he was not confused, nor was he delirious, because his last request was, Father, forgive them. They know not what they did. Yes, sir. And he gave up the ghost. His lifeless body was removed and placed in a borrowed tomb. All those that follow and serve should shout hallelujah. You know we ought to shout hallelujah. You know what happens when we get married or something? We got to give it back. Oh, God, buddy. Come on out. As Paul wrote in Romans 10, 9b, it says, And shall believe in thy heart. Remember I told you this? That God hath raised him from the dead. Yeah. Thou shalt be saved. In the heart. Surely. 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 God raised him after three days. All right. With all power. And it wasn't confusing power. It wasn't deceiving power. It wasn't manipulating power. follow Christ and those that lead others, pointing them towards Christ, uh -huh. must follow Christ and church. <laughs> Paul in a letter to the church of Corinth by way of revelation of Christ, reveals that Christendom, not all, that not all of the other religious beliefs in the world today should have one thing in common. This is what Paul revealed. And we ought to stand firm on it as other religious beliefs stand firm on the tenets of their doctrine. Right. The problem with Christendom today is as soon as somebody says something about Christ and, and somebody else disagrees with it, everybody jump back. <laughs> Start <laughs> with <laughs> It's gay. <laughs> God got to uh -huh. It's sad. But what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5, for though there be that, though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, mm -hmm. as there be gods many yeah. and lords many. And now you have to remember, this is with a little G and a little L. Uh -huh. Not with a capital. Amen. When you when you speak the Lord's name or when you see the, the Lord's name written, it's a capital letter. It's a capital. Help me now. It says, but to us, there is but one God, Come on the up. Father, of whom are all things. Mm -hmm. And we in him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we be by him. My Lord, my Jesus also provided us something to stand on, mm -hmm. and it surely will eliminate all the confusion in Christendom today. Yes, yes, Found in John, the third chapter, yes. the 14th verse. Yes. Yes, it says, and as Moses mm -hmm. lifted up the serpent That's right. in the wilderness, yes, sir. even so, the Son of Man sure. must be lifted up. That's right. The problem is we don't want to lift up Christ. That's right. We don't. Oh, well, you know, I don't want to offend you. No, no, no. Lift up Christ. Amen. They lift up. They, 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 the other religious beliefs yeah. wear their headscarves to work and everything else. You can't wear a cross to work. All right. No t-shirt. You can't wear something on your body that says, uh, <laughs> I, I thank the Lord. Yeah. But they can wear their headdress. What's wrong with that picture? All right. Amen. What's wrong with that picture? Amen. That whosoever Believing in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Yes. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, he did. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. No, he didn't. God sent his son into the world so that the world prove him. They might be.
a quarter mile in drag racing. I had, I had a T-Pick in my car, he track T-Pick in my car. And I had it, and I had it sitting on that part when I got ready to go down a quarter mile. Amen. I'll be getting my burnout, have my helmet on my head. And everybody be, what the world he playing? I'm getting ready to go down this quarter mile and fall right <laughs> well, if Joker mess up, I'm going to be in a ball of fight. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.